One of the cutest cars we've had a chance to drive on driving television was a Canadian exclusive in North America, the smart car. The smart for two is just that, only for two people and a small amount of cargo. It's just over eight feet long and almost all of it's in the interior. When you sit in the car, you forget how tiny it is. The legroom is ample, the headroom is great, and the funky looking bug-eyed dash is like no other car on the road. One common misconception about the smart car is that it's so small, it can't be safe. But it is. The whole car is essentially a safety capsule, called the Tritian Safety Cell. The strength in steel and the energy absorbing design make this car just as safe as much bigger vehicles. Since the smart car has not been for sale in the US, there are no quality ratings for it from JD Power & Associates. But we do know from our own research that there are a few weaknesses, and they include air conditioning failure and problems with the turbochargers. One thing you might have noticed is that a lot of smart cars on the road have been purchased by companies using them to display their logos. Now the smart car gets tons of attention, but this might have skewed the popularity of this vehicle. Back in 2005, the starting price for a smart car was $16,500 and could quickly add up to the mid-20s in a hurry. Our scan of driving.ca shows that these cars still pull in good money. Most asking prices are still in the mid to high teens. The Canadian Black Book wholesale price for a 2005 with 60,000 kilometers is in the low teens. Pretty good. Well, Lacey, a lot has changed since the introduction of the Smart for Two in Canada. When the car was first introduced, it was only available in Canada and only with a diesel engine. Well, now the diesel engine is no longer able to be sold in North America because of the stricter diesel emission standards. And the Smart for Two is now for sale in the United States. So for that market, they also wanted a slightly more powerful gasoline engine. I don't know if I would put uh, power and smart car in the same sentence. I said but. more powerful. I didn't say powerful, just more powerful. <laughs> if you're in the market for a compact car, go to our website, drivingtelevision.com, and check out our full compact car comparison. Now, it's one of our top 10 most watched segments on the internet, so if you're in the market, definitely worth checking out.